HLN After Dark, Monday night, 10 Eastern on HLN. I was at this one camp, 16 months, and they was like, who wants to volunteer for trash detail? I was like, F I've been so confined, I'm gonna do it. Dude, I went out there, trash came and started raining. I started crying, man. I hadn't felt it in so long, I thought I was like, I, I, mean, I thought I was free for a minute. Now, reality TV stars behind bars. That's Apollo Nita, breakout star on Bravo TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta, breaking it down to his castmates about his tough stint behind bars. Welcome back to the special edition of Showbiz Tonight, part of HLN's America Behind Bars coverage. And right now, we go from behind bars to becoming a reality star. Apollo Nita found himself launched into the reality TV spotlight just six months after his release from prison. He served 16 months behind bars for racketeering. It was a stunning conviction that would rattle life as he knew it. And in a whirlwind that followed his release, he married attorney Phaedra Parks, and together they joined the cast of Bravo TV's hit franchise. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, I just spoke with Apollo and his wife, Phaedra Parks, about finding sudden fame after his time in jail. Well, Apollo, let me start with you here. I have to imagine you didn't see all of this coming. I mean, just one year after you were released from prison for racketeering, you joined your wife on The Real Housewives. You put your past out there for everyone to see. I got to know what it was like to leave prison and then suddenly find yourself thrust into a very bright spotlight like this. Um, from the beginning, it was kind of difficult. I really wasn't sure how, you know, the viewers were going to accept me. Um, it was a lot of, you know, mental anguish at the same time, trying to just readjust. Um, but, you know, I'm a team player. My wife's supportive. My family's supportive. So I just jumped into it and just went on for the ride. Because a lot of people, you always hear stories of people who have just gotten out of prison, they've done their time, and then they just want to lay low. And you did the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, you know, I got a lot of riffraff from the, uh, from the parole uh, board, um, actually, um, state of Georgia. You know, they really wasn't fond of it. Once they saw, because they thought, you know, a lot of cameras were going to follow us into the parole office, and that type of thing is really, um, you know, shunned upon. So at the end of the day, I told them that that really wasn't what it was. You know, my wife's a housewife. She's on the show. And then they was like, okay, well, let's, we'll let the season uh, play out and just see what happens. And I don't mean to make light of it, but, it, hey, look, at least they could keep an eye on where you were. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no problem doing that. That's what I always say about this job. People can always find me. Uh, Phaedra, always. Ta Phaedra, talk to me about that decision to allow the cameras into your lives, no holds barred, knowing that Apollo's past was going to be put out there. I mean, you guys were practically newlyweds when the cameras started rolling. You know, of course, my husband did have a past, but like I say on the show, everybody knows every saint has a, every sinner has a past, every saint has a future. So, you know, it is what it is, and I was proud of him, and, you know, it, hopefully our story would help someone else. And I think uh, your wife makes a terrific point in terms of educating people and showing a different side of you and also letting people perhaps learn from your experience. And, and, and for the sake of that, give me a sense, what was it like? the first time you walked into prison knowing you'd be there for a while and really not knowing exactly how long? You know, it was kind of devastating. You know, once I got shipped off to a diagnostic center, they make you, you know, shave your head, you shave your, they change your appearance, basically. They try mm -hmm. to humiliate you. Um, and at that point, you got to kind of, you know, it's degrading because you have to get naked in front of, you know, officers and other men, and, you know, you're not used to doing anything like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a life-changing experience. And then you kind of you know, go through the routine, and you try to just find a place. Uh, you just got to kind of find a place that you can mesh and just, you know, become one with yourself. And that's what I did. I just dug deep inside, and I became one with myself, one with the higher power. Spirituality really played a strong part for me. Well, now that you are well on the other side of it all, what would you say is the biggest way the whole experience changed you? Now, being home and not necessarily a TV show, just the foundation that has been created with us joining together. We have two children, or well, one's on the way. Um, and it gives me a sense of there's something to look back and look forward to. And at the end of the day, I have to be responsible. I have to be accountable for everything that Talk I do. Talk about turning it around. My thanks to Phaedra and Apollo. Oh, and just like reality TV, when the cops bust you, you know, there's usually a police camera recording everything. So you better be on your best behavior.